2016 GMC Yukon in here today and we're having problems with uh, power door locks. What's happening is happening is when we press lock and unlock it's not doing anything. We're not even hearing any clicks out of the BCM. The BCM should click which is down under the dash here just above the gas pedal. And we checked our fuses which are the BCM I checked 10 and 11 here, BCM 3 and 5, and BCM 19, check those in there, and then over here on the passenger side, there's some more BCM ones to check here, number 13, number 19, 38, 46, 47, check all those. And this is the factory diagram, which it does tell us to check fuse 47 and fuse 13. Same fuses over here, 47 and 13. At the body control module, which this is gonna be at the right hand side of the passenger compartment that we were just at. So giving you a quick rundown of the wiring of this, we have the BCM across the top here and our four door lock actuators in each door. Pin four right here of connector six at the BCM should normally um, be grounded and not have power. Although I'm gonna show you what mine has. And then over here, Pin one and pin two are also normally grounded. And when you press lock or unlock, it's gonna switch the polarity from, if this one's hot on lock, it will be negative on unlock, and it will be the opposite over here. So this pin one is for just sending the lock signal to the driver's door only. And this pin two, the green and gray, is for all the other doors, not the driver's door. They loop down here through this X1 connector on the passenger side, right next to that fuse box we were at. There's a plug-in connector X1. They go through that and there's a child security lock disable relay and a door deadlock relay. But what they do is they go through that and then they just go to all the door locks. But let me show you what I have over here at pin four. In four, I have power all the time, which I should not. So we've got a problem here. Let's take a look at the BCM under the driver's side dash. So here we are at pin four of the BCM, and we have power, which we should not with that unplugged. We should have no power there. Let me show you what I found. I first looked in the driver's door um, for a problem, but the left rear door, when I open this door, you can see, so we have something going on in here. And so inside this connector, or this wiring harness, I've disconnected the connector. We've got broken wires here. This red with blue, black, and they're shortened together. So the problem is actually in this door harness because every time the door opens, it pinches. So we're gonna proceed with replacing this entire harness because a repair does not always hold up here. Sometimes it does, but in this case with this repair, we opted to go with the entire new harness so that we don't have any problems. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel so I can provide you with more how-to and cost-saving videos.